Okay, so let's learn how to work with feature branches in the terminal. So if we just make a directory here called git flow and cd inside it, we can start learning how to do this. So you can see we have no files, no git repository as well. So let's just do git init to create our repository. If we did git status, you can see that we are on branch master. Let's just clear this up. If we do git log dash dash one line, you'll see we have no commits either. So let's clear it up again. Now let's see what happens when you do git flow dash h. So git flow is a built-in command into git. It has a lot of sub commands that will, will let us be able to work with the entirety of git flow. So if we did git flow init, what this will do is initialize git flow in our repository. And we can just hit enter for all these options here. We're just gonna go with the default settings. Okay, cool. So now if we clear this up and did git status, it'll say we are on branch develop. Notice the end of our line as well, it says develop. If we did git branch, we have develop and master now. So let's see if we did git flow dash h, um, we can see that we do have feature. So let's do git flow feature dash h. Will this bring up a list of help stuff? Yes, it does. It says we can do git flow feature list dash h and dash v. So let's try git flow. I just need to put a space in there. Git flow feature. And if I can get the spelling right, feature, feature, and then list. So what this is actually meant to do is list all your git flow feature branches. But since we don't have any, we need to create one. In order to do this, we just need to do git flow feature start and start typing the name. So our name can be rev1. Cool, so it's given us a summary of the actions. It's created a new branch and we are now on the new branch. So if we did git branch, you can see we have three branches now. So if we did git flow feature list, it should just list our new feature branch. Notice that it's prefixed it with feature in git branch and not in git flow feature list. Just remember the actual name for the branch is feature forward slash rev1. So I'm just gonna create a file in here and do git status, then git, well, not commit, what we should be doing is git add. Just to add it to the stage, then we need to commit it. And I'm just gonna put some message in here, add script, I think works fine. Cool, so if we did git log dash dash one line, good, we have our one commit off add script. Right, so we are on our feature branch rev1. If we did git flow feature, and what we can do is create a new branch here and this time call it rev2. Cool, so once again, summary of actions. And if we do LL, you'll see we don't have our file anymore. And we're gonna create a new file here. And we're gonna call that, let's see, revolve.php. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to the stage and commit it. And add revolve script seems fine. Cool, so that seems to be good. We did git log dash dash one line. You can see we have add revolve script, that's good. And let's just clear this up. So if we did git checkout develop, obviously what do you expect to see? We don't expect to see any of those changes. So we have no files. If we checked out our feature branch again, notice how I have to prefix it with feature. This time let's try the finish command. Now what this should do is merge the feature branch into develop and then delete the feature branch. Cool, so the feature branch was merged into develop. Now notice we don't have the rev1 feature branch. And if we did git flow feature and this time list. Yep, you'll see we only have one feature branch as well. So let's clear that up. Cool, so on develop, we now have our change of index.php. And if we did git log, you'll see we have add script. Notice 
it hasn't said anything about a merge. It's just taking that commit and put it right there. We now do git checkout feature rev2, which will bring us to our second feature branch. And yep, we got our file there. So let's try to finish this branch now. So it's just taking some time. And now it's going to actually do a proper merge. All this is is just the yellow writing is just our commit message. And we can edit this if we want to, but really we don't need to. So cool. So I just exited from that. It's completed its actions. You can see the summary there. If we did git branch, we only have develop and master. And if we did git log one line, you'll see now that we have our four commits as well as our merge as well.